hi guys welcome back to my channel long time no week video guys i know it's been quite a minute first of all these two braids i've done them myself and i know they're just wonky like this one is it this one yeah it's just protruding in a bad way and i'm really hoping that they're not gonna like show through the wig that they're still gonna look cute let's let's hope so that it's not gonna like cause a bulge under the wig so the wig we're gonna be reviewing today is by eva wigs and it's a really beautiful unit and i actually just want to read for you guys all the specs so they came on the paper that the wig came in so it's a 22 inch natural black 100 percent human hair curly with hd lace and the lace color is transparent i think you guys are gonna um, get a chance to see that the hairline comes pre-plucked um the knots are slightly bleached so i'm gonna have to like go in with some foundation just to make them like match my scalp more and um, the cup size is average it came with some two cups although i never wear wig cups and it also comes with i use a manual so this can really like show you how to install your wig take care of it they have their return and exchange processes at the back um, they just have a lot of information in this user manual all right so this is the hair in question it's really beautiful guys and i don't know if it's just me but i love how wigs smell there's just something about how wigs smell that i don't know i really just love it i've already cut off the lace um so yeah one of i'm not i don't think i have to show you that part and i think the main thing that i want us to do is to install this wig gluelessly because i think i'm just over wearing wigs with glue and i'm more into wearing wigs gluelessly like i just slip it on looks good and i'm good to go so that's the aim of this video just you know how to get your glueless wig to sit as perfectly as possible so when it comes to that one of the most important things you want to have in your wig is these um should we call them like drawstrings it's so important to have these because you're able to make the wig tight or or you're able to make the wig fit your head more and that's so important in a glueless wig because you really want the hairline to like be flat 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 on your head so i actually always put the drawstring thingies all the way at the center like all the way at the center let me do it then i show you like that and i feel like it makes the wig fit a lot better this wig also has combs two combs at the side a comb in the middle and a comb at the back so it's more or less going to be secure now rather than bleaching the knots like that's a very long process and i don't think it's realistic for beginners um the tip i always use is to use a foundation usually i'll use a slightly lighter foundation than my skin tone because the scalp naturally is lighter than your face so this particular foundation I'm, i can't believe i'm using a dior foundation on a wig okay anyways um it's the one i have that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone so it's what's gonna work for this wig so that it looks scalp like i should do this on a mannequin head but i'm lazy to get it there we go i feel like that's i'm gonna make it look a lot more realistic let me even put it over my hand just to make sure see that Okay, I think we can get this on now. Okay, we're gonna get into working on this whole situation that's going on here. But I really just wanna show you guys the curls. And I wish you could feel this hair because it's so, 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 so soft. It's so soft. It feels so good. Oh. So like the packaging said, the wig has actually come with the the like pre-plucked so you don't actually have too much work to do really hope that's the center 
I have a wax stick um, and I'm gonna use this because I wanna use my hot comb just to like make the part flat. Another characteristic of a natural wig is a flat part. You know, I hate it when here there's a bump and another bump. It just looks very unrealistic. Okay, so now just to make the part look a little bit like blend in more, if you could say that, I'm gonna just apply now a foundation of my skin tone and I'll just put that on the base like right here that was so quick I feel like that was so quick I've barely spent any time on this and you know what the best part is the next time I'm wearing this wig because I've done all these things I don't need to do them again like I literally just need to sleep on the wig you know I think one major tip I would tell you when it comes to wearing wigs gluelessly is a middle part can really be your bestie, your best friend, your best friend because you can just hide anything that's on the sides, you know, because now if I open here, the sides are not, you know, looking so cute, you know, but from the front and what everyone is going to see, it looks good enough and that's good enough for me. Just make sure you don't over, over you know until the sides are seen and voila guys thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to eva wigs for partnering up with me on this video please also feel free to drop your tips in the comments down below you know how do you wear your glueless wigs what tips do you have you know we could always learn something new thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one Bye.